Today I'm reviewing Keto Crisp Chocolate Mint Bar and Octavia Chocolate Mint Crisp Bar. Um, both are chocolate mint, so it should be a good comparison. All right, the first thing we're going to compare is the protein. And in the Keto Crisp, we have 10 grams of protein. And in the Octavia, we've got 11. In the carbs, this one has about five net carbs. This one has about six net carbs. Okay, calories. Big difference here. 220 calories. This one has 110. And there are different reasons for that, right? We don't need always, um, you know, 200 plus calories with every meal that we eat, with every snack. So it depends on how many times a day you're eating. So one reason is this could be a full meal replacement. This could be like, you're gonna eat this for lunch. Like you have a lunch break, you worked out or something, maybe you're gonna eat this. You need a few more calories. Um, this one, uh, people on this plan are usually eating at least six times a day. So they're not needing as many calories per fueling, per time that they fuel their body. Um, but they have about the same amount of protein. So this bar has 11, this one has 10. Um, and the calories are just different by far. Okay, what else do we got? Vitamins and minerals. That's a big difference there too. Vitamins and minerals on this. I found, you know, about five vitamins and minerals in it, different ones. Um, and this one I found 27. And this one, you know, like I said, I'm on Optivia. I'm on Optivia Coach from Coach Kathy. And uh, this one will actually, it's meant to just give you a ton of macronutrients and really help you with your health and make your body work better. Um, this one, it seems like it's just to um, get some, you know, if you have to make a choice of what to eat, this might be a good choice. Um, and there's different ingredients in it that may or may not have you eating this, okay? Um, so some of those ingredients might be eggs, soy, wheat, tree nuts, milk, protein, eggs. Um, this one definitely has soy and milk in it. Um, and so, if you don't, if you don't, if you can't have soy, then you're not going to have either of them, right? That's a given. But there's other things in the ingredients that will affect how you choose. This one is gluten-free, so that's something too. Um, now, whenever I look at bars, I always think, what is their bonus? What What are they saying? This kind of sets us apart from the rest. Okay, so the Keto Crisp Chocolate Mint Bar is saying that we put MCT oil in it, and I was like what is MCT oil, right? Because there's lots of oils out there, but what's MCT and why would you boast about it? Because oil sometimes cannot be good. Well, it ends up that it's a derivative of coconut palm kernel um, and it has a smaller fat chain in it. So I guess people have a hard time digesting fat. I guess it helps with that. Plus it says it has a lot of other health benefits. So if you're interested in MCT oil, then um, look that up and see what it is. Um, this one has, gut health ingredients in it. It's got, um, I always say this wrong, bacillus coagulans, coag coagulans, yeah. And this one, the Optivia, um, it's for your gut health. It's the good bacteria that goes in your gut. We know there's bacteria in our gut. We know we need it for digestion. And that's what how this one says, okay, we've got that in there for you if, you if you want gut health. So both of them serve a purpose. It's whatever purpose you're, you're utilizing them for. If you're on the Optivia plan, of course, this chocolate mint bar would be great. And if you are on any other plan and you have 280 calories and all of the ingredients and um, everything that you need is in here, then you know, you're gonna, you could do that one too. But um, none of that matters if it doesn't taste good, right? So I have never tasted a Keto Crisp. I think they're relatively new on the market, but I could totally be wrong because I'm just, you know, I, I eat what I eat, but I always look for bars. And that's why when I thought, hey, I've never seen this one before, I thought I'm going to get it. So this one is called Keto Crisp Chocolate Mint Bar. It looks like this. It doesn't look bad. It looks like there's cocoa in there, chocolate and whatnot. I'm going to cut it open and see what, what it does. When I cut it, it crisped a little. It made a crispy sound. Those are probably soy crisps in there, um, surrounded by like a soft, I can break it open. You know, it doesn't have to be cut or crushed. I can break it open. So it looks like there's chunks of soy in it. I'm gonna take a bite.
Mm. Okay. It has a pretty, um, a pretty good chocolate flavor in there. And, um, the soy crisps are a nice little crunchy additive. And then it kind of gets creamy in your mouth a little bit. I can taste that there's a lot of oil in it, which maybe that's MCT oil or coconut oil. Um, the mint, I'm kind of losing the mint a little bit until the end when you swallowed it. I'm kind of an aftertaste in the back of your throat. That's where I'm getting the mint flavor. But yeah, it's not bad. I could, I could eat one of those. I mean, it's not really on my plan, but I could eat one if I was on a different plan or in maintenance and I only was eating three times a day or something. I, I, and it tastes like there's absolutely coconut, like I'm chewing coconut in there because you know how coconut sticks in your teeth and you still chew it. Okay. Now let's try the Optopia and, um, see what that does for us. All right. I have to open it with my knife. <laughs> Good thing these packages are closed. Really tight. Okay. So this is what the Optavia Chocolate Mint Crisp Bar looks like. Cookie Crisp Bar. Okay. I can break it open. That's what the inside looks like. I'm going to cut a little piece off. And I'm going to eat it. Okay, first thing I taste is chocolate, and then I get this burst of mint. Um, I think because there's peppermint oil in it. Um, crispy. It does get soft and kind of creamy-ish with the crunchies. Um, I think of Rice Krispie Treat. Um, there's that aftertaste of mint in the back and still some chocolate. Um, yeah, it's not bad at all. I like it. Actually, I eat these quite a bit. They kind of taste like um, Girl Scout cookies like the Thin Mints. So I like those. Um, so both bars, you know, are not bad at all and can be eaten. It's just what purpose are you eating them for? And um, can you eat the ingredients in all of them? So research before you eat. Um, and if you want uh, more information about what I do, which I do Optavia, but I'm trying to be fair about these bars. I actually, that's not a bad bar. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because it's not just bar review. I do unboxings. I do nutrition support type things. I do, um, my son says it's edutainment because it's not really educational. It's not entertainment, a little both. But uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe, get the notifications. And if you want to see if what I do, not only um, if I, uh, um, if you are, if it's a good fit for you to be on Optavia, I'm glad to be your coach and, and coach you into fat burn and beyond and for longevity. Um, but if you are interested in being a coach, if you are into health or you'd like to be, and you want to be held more accountable and, um, and just have a great time in a great community, then I'm here to help you with that too. But for now we're reviewing bars. Uh, this is my second review today. So I'm, you know, nibbling on a lot of yummy things. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you can um, subscribe, that'd be great.